Good evening, guys. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm so so teacher. Oh, well, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining. We only have two. <laughs> okay. Hello, Manuel. Okay. Are you there? Seems not. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest of the class until, okay, two minutes left. Vamos a esperar dos minutos y vamos a empezar. Okay. Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, we're going to start. En eso tal vez se une el resto. We're going to start with today's class. Uh, thank you so much for joining. I know you, I appreciate it, and I hope you are prepared for today's topic. <clears throat> okay, welcome, guys, one more time. Um, today's topic, uh, we're going to start first with a warm-up activity. Okay, this warm-up activity consists in mention uh, things I did or things I didn't do last week. Okay, este warm-up is regarding to the last topic. Esto es sobre el tema anterior. Do you remember, guys, the did and didn't? Son auxiliares que sirven para lo del presente. Sí, simple. Yeah, pasado. Pasado. Simple. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we are going to start with this warm-up activity. As I mentioned, it is recording to last topic. And in este caso, vamos a mencionar, we're going to practice orally. Vamos a mencionar, we are, we are only three. Okay, I just want to make sure if you are there. Okay, I can hear William. I can see Jancy, okay. What about Manuel? Are you there? Yes. Okay, thank you. We're going to start, okay? Okay, the thing is, uh, the activity consists in mencionar cosas. You can mention both. You can mention two things. Uh, one thing you did last week and one thing you didn't do last week. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, awesome. We're going to start. Tell me who wants to be the first. We only have three. Okay. Who wants um, to be the first? <clears throat> um, okay, William. I went, I went to the park the last Saturday. Okay. I did exercise. Okay. And the weekend, and I went to buy in the supermarket. Okay, awesome. What about the things you didn't do? 
the things you didn't do. Las cosas que no hizo last week. I did it. <clears throat> I did it watch my clothes for the ropa. Okay. Yes. You I did, did it wash my clothes. Okay. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I think those examples are enough. Son suficientes. Let's move with Yancy. Can you tell me? Oh, well. <laughs> I want to assert that um, I got it by apologies because that's no present I, yesterday in class, but I didn't can because that um, I don't have the uh, internet connection. Okay. <laughs> um, but that's the reason though. Oh, okay. And um, I'm trying to that uh, one example. For example, uh, for example, um, Yesterday, yesterday I did it to the person in class. Okay, awesome. Yeah. You didn't attend the class, right? Yes. Yesterday I didn't attend the class. Awesome. Class. That's a real life example. <laughs> it's yeah. true. I don't like. Yeah, you did it. You're doing it great. Uh, tell me something you did. Uh, yeah. last week. It's an example. Last week. Things yes. Last week. Last week. Yeah. Um, the things you remember, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> In the last week, I didn't to, to go to practice the soccer, for example. Okay, you didn't go pra to practice soccer, okay? Yeah. And what what about the things you did? The things you did, las cosas que sí hizo. Um. Remember For example, and yeah. the to date. <laughs> okay, uh, just as an example, uh, yeah. last week I you can say I did it. Just, I did it. Or you can say I ate. Okay, I, I ate. ate. Okay, uh, the the um. Because I can use that the verb in the simple path. Okay, don't worry. So we are going to try to uh, explain one more time, just in order to make it clear. Uh, the last topic, the topic from yesterday. If you were not, uh, if you did not attend the class, so don't worry. Today we are going to uh, continue with that topic with simple past tense. Vamos a continuar con el simple past tense, pero Use with different functions, okay? okay? Okay. What about Manuel? Can you tell me things you did or didn't do last week? Uh, but ambas. Yeah, you can say one. Uh, uh, I was on vacation last week. Okay. I was visit my family in La Union Department. Okay, what what if we say I visited? My, my family. Yeah, when, when we are talking about simple past, when we are going to mention the verb, we are going oh. to turn into simple past. Remember the ED. If, if the verb is regular, we are going to uh, add ED or D, but if it is irregular, we are going to change it. Remember? Yeah, so you can say I visited my family. Visited my family. Uh -huh. Okay, last week. And something that you didn't do? I didn't go to beach on vacation. Okay, awesome. That's a good one. Thank you. Um, Sorry, Manuel. That was awesome. What about Daniela? Okay, Daniela, we are we are doing a warm-up activity. I hope you're, you're there. Daniela, are you there? Okay, seems not. Okay, welcome for the those who are joining. Thank you so much. We are going to continue. So, uh, ahorita que estamos recordando eso, voy a explicar one more time por si hay alguna duda sobre el simple past tense o de la clase de ayer. Okay, 
We have simple past tense, el pasado simple. Uh, we have the regular verbs, que son los que se le agrega ed, que se queda su, el verbo en su forma base, solo se le agrega ed or the. And we have irregular verbs, the ones that are modified, los que sí se cambian, se cambia su escritura y su pronunciation, uh, la mayoría, right? La mayoría se cambia su escritura, su pronunciation, uh, cuando está en pasado simple. Always remember that. You can say, when we are talking about things uh, from the past, as an example, I did exercise. Yes, yo hice ejercicio. I did exercise. I did uh, go. Because remember, what happened if we have those auxiliaries? Uh -huh. A simple what happened? Yeah, what happened there? <laughs> el, el verbo se mantiene en su forma base, okay? So if you're going, if you were going to say, I didn't uh, work last week, I didn't work. El verbo en su forma base, ¿ok? Porque esto ya no le vamos no, a poner ed al verb, porque ya tenemos el auxiliary aquí que nos está indicando pasado simple, right? Also, one of the things to remember es que si us cómo identificar si esto está trabajando de verbo o está trabajando de auxiliar es fácil mirando si hay un verbo después del did or did not, ¿ok? Si hay un verbo, como aquí, significa que está trabajando de auxiliar. Pero, pero si no hay ningún verbo, por ejemplo, el, el ejemplo que les di, I did exercise, él está trabajando como un verbo, right? Pero si yo digo, I did eat pizza last night, yo sí comí pizza anoche, entonces está traba, trabajando como un auxiliary verb, ¿ok? Always remember that. We're going to move to the topic. Siempre continuando con el simple past. Solamente que este topic se llama yes, no questions. Siempre de la section number four, did you have fun? Tenemos yes, no questions. Uh, can someone help me to read the first one? Este, the first uh, point right here. In okay. English. Yeah. Okay. In English, there are no two basic types of question yes no question and why question yes or not question uh, sorry don't worry go ahead um, are also called closet question because there are only two possible responses yes or not okay thank you we're going to analyze it it says in english there are two basic types of questions. We have yes or no questions and WH question. Do you remember WH question? Why? Why? Where? Where? What? Where? What? How? How? Which? Awesome. Which? Which? Okay, which? Okay, awesome. Those are questions and the yes, no question if you can see here, yes, no questions are also called closed questions. ¿Por qué? Son llamadas preguntas cerradas. Because there are only two possible responses, yes or no. Son preguntas cerradas porque solo puede responder yes or no. Pero no así, ¿verdad? No literalmente como yes, no, yes, no. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more information, pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, ¿ok? Can someone help me to read the second one? This one? Any volunteer? When, when forming a yes, no question, it must include one of these verbs. Be, do, have, or a mother verb. Can, could, would, may. It is impossible to ask a yes, no question without one of these verbs. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, it says, when forming a yes, no question, cuando formamos, cuando estructuramos una yes, no question, it must include one of these verbs. Es esencial que incluya esos verbos, ya sea be, do, have. We're going to check some examples uh, uh, when we move from the next slide. Okay, or a modal verb. Do you remember what a modal verb?
Okay, we uh, are coming. Can, can, yeah. would, make. Okay, awesome. Can, could, would, make. It's impossible to ask a yes, no question without one of these verbs. Okay, we are going to try to understand a little bit the information. Okay, dice que son preguntas cerradas. La, una característica es que son preguntas cerradas. Solo hay dos posibles respuestas, yes or no. Pero ¿cómo identificamos cuando es una yes, no question? Recuerden que las W question comienzan con what, where, which, who, uh, when, and how. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué hay una diferencia entre, cuál es la diferencia entre esas dos preguntas? Es que cuando tenemos yes, no questions, en este caso sucede que podemos responder yes or no. And we, when someone asks me, uh, as an example, when, when is, let me, what is your favorite food, as an example? That's a WH question, right? What is your favorite food? And so we are going to start. My favorite food is uh, spaghetti because blah, 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 blah. Eh, cuando, cuando tenemos una WH question, la diferencia con una yes or no es la respuesta. Cada vez que empiece con esta es porque es abierta la pregunta. Entonces, it's an open question. Why? Porque está pidiendo mucha más información. Requiere de más información. Por ejemplo, when did you start your, when did you start to, when did you start to study English? What about that? When did you start to study English? Eh, y empezamos, I started to study study English, when I was, la, la, la. So we are providing more information. But what about the yes or no? What if someone asks me, can you close the door, please? Are you going to answer yes or no? Yes or no? Uh, that's the main difference between WH question and yes or no question. Yes or no questions are easier than WH question. Tenemos open Uh, responses, uh, open questions, and closed questions. Right now we are checking closed questions, ¿ok? Vamos a ver cuando utilizamos estos verbos, cómo queda, a cómo, a cómo estructurarlo cuando utilizamos en estos verbos. Be, do, have, y modal verbs, ¿ok? We're going to move to, uh, we're going to watch a video, ¿ok? Perfect. We're going to watch this video. Remember, the video is right on the platform, so you can check it. We're going to, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, awesome. Tell me if you can, if you can hear it. Let's analyze one more question. Okay. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're going to pay attention. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. 
They went to Arizona. In order to form a simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Um, Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did. Or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively. Yes, I did. Then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. Okay, guys. I think that's enough. And we're going to come back to the slide share. One of the things that I want you to um, pay attention is that when we are talking about um when we are talking about yes no question a veces requiere a little bit uh, of information requiere un poquito más de información right because si no sonaría muy muy cortante okay uh, we are going to check that first remember where the verbs be have and do we're going to check uh, some examples using the verb be to ask yes or no question. Okay, about the identity or description of a person. This is just an example, okay? Uh, okay, am I your friend? Am I your friend? Remember when we are talking about questions, we are going to place the verb to be and then the subject, okay? Vamos a poner primero el verb to be y luego vamos a poner el sujeto. Am I your friend? Esta es una Yes or no question. Remember, porque estamos iniciando con be. Con be. Con, con este verbo. Verbo to be. Esto es ser. Right? Am I your friend? Y aquí miramos las respuestas, las posibles respuestas. Ok? We have yes. You can answer yes. Uh, solamente yes. Or you can answer yes, you are. Uh, para agregar un poquito más de información. You can, uh, usted puede reforzar la respuesta diciendo, por ejemplo, um, yes, you are my friend, uh, by repeating what, uh, what was on the question, ¿ok? Usted puede responder la pregunta, ya sea de la manera más simple, eh, puede responder como, yes, you are, si sí, tú lo eres, yes, you are my friend. Puede repetir lo que la pregunta, lo que decía en la pregunta, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos, is this a good restaurant? Is this a good restaurant? No. No, it is not. No, it is not a good restaurant. ¿Pueden ver? Pueden ver que está repitiendo lo que la pregunta, lo que le hicieron en la pregunta, right? Es como que le preguntan, ¿esto es un buen restaurante? No, no es un buen restaurante. Eso es, como eh, repetir lo que, la información que está pidiendo en la pregunta. Pero estaría correcto if you answer no o no, it is not. No, no lo es, ¿ok? It's okay. We have the other example. Are these island Greek? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, these island islands are Greek. Okay. How do you pronounce this word? Island. 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 Awesome. We we avoid the S, okay? Are these islands Greek? We can answer yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Sorry. Yes, these islands are Greek. Okay. Was his idea interesting? 
Was his idea interesting? No. No, it wasn't. No, his idea was not interesting. Okay. Okay. You can pueden reforzar de esta forma el, la respuesta. You can you can choose whatever you want. Okay. Were they happy? Were they happy? Yes. Yes, they were. Yes, they were happy. If you uh, I don't know if you watch Eh, si ustedes ven series y las miran así con el audio original eh, en inglés, right? Y subtituladas, you're going to notice, van a notar que eh, siempre la mayoría es esta, esta respuesta, the second one. Porque eh, es, no es muy común escuchar que repitan, eh, por ejemplo, en el inglés nativo, as an example. Ellos no es que repitan mucho su, eh, lo que le acaban de preguntar, right? Por ejemplo, is this a, is this a good restaurant? They uh, commonly say, no, it is not. And that's the answer. That's the response. Uh, no es muy común que diga, no, it is not a good restaurant. Okay? You can, pero ustedes pueden utilizar ya sea esta, ya sea esta de acá o esta, ok? No problem. Y dice, note that the response can be short. Las respuestas pueden ser cortas porque como, remember, son eh, preguntas cerradas. Las respuestas pueden ser short, yes or no, or long, yes or no, followed by the subject and the information that I mentioned. Uh, usted puede repetir lo que le acaban de preguntar y no problem. Okay, do you have any question with this one? Any question? Okay, remember, cuando usamos este, el verb be, to be, el verbo to be, we, um, we can notice that this is a uh, yes or no question, okay? Si empieza con am, I, is, are, was, where, ese es el verbo to be, right? Y acá lo tenemos en presente simple, am, is, are, y was, and were para el pasado simple, ¿ok? Este es para el pasado simple. Son, si empieza de esta manera, es porque es una yes or no question, ¿ok? We're going to, uh, aquí hay más ejemplos, am I at the correct location? No, you aren't. Pueden ver, aquí está abreviado, you, you can say no. Or no, you are not. You are not. Uh, just like this. O you puede, uh, pueden decir you aren't. De la forma abreviada, okay? Are the keys under the books? No. No, they are not. Was his house on an island? Yes. Yes, it was. Were the demonstrations in the center of the town? No. No, they weren't. Okay, those are uh, <clears throat> the possible answers. And we have uh, here, use the verb be to ask a yes, no question about a past activity or situation. Esta estamos hablando del pasado simple. Do you know what is uh, the, is this el pasado simple de que verbo? Which, which one? Be. Be, right? So we are talking about the verb to be. So, pero este está en pasado simple. Always remember, este es el pasado simple de be. So, the question, if we, if the question start with el pasado simple de be, simple con be, it is a yes or no question, okay? Was it raining? Yes, yes it was. Esta, esta response, esta respuesta, Siento, siento que es la más común y me gusta mucho más porque no estamos siendo ni muy cortantes ni estamos uh, providing too much information, ¿ok? Ni siendo redundantes ni nada, sino que está siendo una respuesta muy concreta. Yes, it was. Were they playing? No, no, they weren't. ¿Ok? But you can, you can use both. You can, usted puede decir yes, nada más, o puede decir yes, it was. And we don't have any problem. Let me check. This requires the past progressive. Este es el pasado progresivo, verb plus ing. Eh, cuando utilizamos esta, en este caso, nos pide que utilicemos el ing, el gerund. 
En este caso tenemos, uh, this requires the past progressive, al usar el verbo to be para en el pasado simple, question about a past activity or situation. Esto estamos hablando de una actividad pasada o una de situación pasada, ¿ok? ¿Estaba lloviendo? Sí, sí lo estaba. ¿Estaban ju ellos jugando? No, no lo estaban. ¿Sí, ¿Ok? ¿Do you have a question about it? Mm. For this explanation that you... Um... Do you say that why is the exactly translation in Spanish this is index what it's raining? It's not why not is estuvo lloviendo. Okay. Because it's a question. Estuvo lloviendo. Was it raining? It was raining. Si estamos hablando, si no es pregunta, right? Pero remember que siempre eh, vamos a pasar el Verb to be, cuando se trata de una question, vamos a pasar el verb to be eh, al inicio, just like this. Este es el verb to be, pueden ver, yeah. es este en pasado simple, ¿ok? Was his house, pero cuando vamos a agregar un verb, cuando vamos a agregar un verbo con este, con el pasado simple de be, we are going to add ing, al verbo. Was it raining? Were they playing? Were they dancing? Were they, were, uh, was she cooking? Was he eating? Just like that, okay? Remember, we're going to, uh, when we use this one, was or where, we are going to add the ing to the verb. So it will make sense. Va a tener más sentido, okay? Estaba lloviendo? Estaban ellos jugando? Eh, that's the question. That's how we're going to do. Okay, we're going to move to the next one. En este caso tenemos el have y el has. Eh, remember, tenemos be, have, and do. Y tenemos los modal verbs. Okay, right now we are going to check the have and we have has. Do you know has? ¿Para quién es has? Para la tercera persona. Third person. Okay, awesome. Tenemos have. Okay, tenemos the question. Has your brother left? No, he hasn't. Look, mire la, la respuesta. You can see it. He hasn't. Depende con que le, pre, con que le pregunten. If someone asks you, uh, por ejemplo, en este caso tenemos, si se fijan, you can see. Um, si le está preguntando, as an example, el verb to be, si está empezando con be, Usted va a responder con B también. Por ejemplo, eh, su respuesta va a depender claramente de, cómo, de con qué empiece la pregunta, ¿ok? Am I the, in the correct location? No, you are not, ¿ok? En este caso, was his house on an island? Yes, yes, it was. Si se pueden fijar, eh, I am, you are, ¿ok? Tenemos was, was. Where, where not, okay? Lo mismo pasa con have. Has your brother left? No, he hasn't. Have you driven before? Yes, yes, I have. Has the party started? Yes, yes, it has. Those, uh, como les dije, uh, we're going to try to answer with this one, con esta que no está dando mucha información, pero tampoco lo hace eh, muy simple, ¿ok? Tenemos cuando empieza con have or has, eh, entendemos que es una yes or no question, ¿ok? What happened with do? The verb do to ask yes or no question in order to obtain facts about people, places, or things. Tenemos the question, do they smoke? Está, está tra tratando de obtener información de la persona, right? Do they smoke? No, no, they don't. Does it rain here? Yes, yes, it does. Si se fijan, siempre se puede responder con lo que se preguntó, right? Did the key, did the key work? No, it did not, it didn't. 
Y tenemos con los modal verbs, what happened here. Para hacer yes or no question, tenemos las posibilidades o cosas inciertas, ¿ok? En este caso, um, lo vamos a quedar con modal verbs, con que si empieza con un modal verb, es una yes or no question, ¿ok? Can we stay? Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can stay. Could this be true? Yes. Yes, it could. Yes, it could be true. Should they stop? No. No, they shouldn't. Or no, they shouldn't stop. May I help you? Yes. Yes, you may. Or yes, you may help me. Okay. Do you understand, guys? Que si empieza con esas, si empieza con be, con have, o con do, o con un modal verb, es una yes or no question. So, estas son las posibles respuestas. Okay, we are going to listen to the listen to the conversation. We already we are done. Ya la escuchamos. Do you remember? Okay, en este caso para entenderla mucho mejor, ahorita que ya explicamos, tenemos este ejemplo de acá, the conversation. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go? Remember, did you go anywhere last summer? Okay, yes, I did. Miren, tenemos una respuesta. Yes, I did, punto. My sister and I went to Arizona. Este es más, esto es más información, ok. Cuando la respuesta es positiva, if, if you remember the video, if the answer is affirmative, si la respuesta es positiva, podemos proveer mucha más información, ok. Porque, por ejemplo, si alguien pregunta, did you go anywhere last summer? Y solo le decimos, yes, I did. Entonces, es como va a seguir preguntando a la persona, entonces podemos proveer más información. Tenemos, yes, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. O, por ejemplo, si alguien le pregunta, did you uh, buy the dress? Yes, I did. Because I love the color. Something like that. We can provide more information. Y tenemos acá, we saw the Grand Canyon. Tenemos más información todavía. Okay, really? Did you like it? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Aquí sí podemos decir, yes, we liked it. Y en este caso respondió, yes, we loved it. Another question, did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Pero acá siempre provee más información. En este caso, you can, usted puede responder, no, we didn't. Okay, actually we rode horses and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, aquí incluyó mucha más información. Esto dependiendo eh, qué es lo que la otra persona quiera saber, right? Do you have any other question? Do you have a question about it, about this? Uh, sorry, I, I just want one question. Yeah, uh, could you please explain again what is a modal verb? Okay, no problem. Okay, modal verbs are, here we have the ones that, son, los que son como puedo, podrías, eh, deberías, eh, as you can see here, those are modal verbs. Los modal verbs son estos, los que empiezan como eh, puedes, podrías, deberías o deberían por ejemplo aquí can we stay nos podemos quedar could this be true esto podría ser verdad son cosas que aquí dice mira modal verbs to ask yes no question about possibilities son posibilidades o cosas inciertas ok can we stay could this be true porque eh, tenemos que esto puede ser incierto, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, here we have the question, could this be true? But what happened? Esto puede, pues, esto puede ser verdad o esto podría ser verdad. Es algo incierto, ¿ok? Should they stop? Deberían parar. De ellos deberían parar. Entonces, es algo incierto, right? Es para eso utilizamos los moral verbs. Y son, eh, los más comunes son estos. Aquí faltan algunos, pero creo que con estos podríamos empezar. 
porque los demás tienen incluso una escritura diferente y pueda que se confundan. So we're going to start with this one con los más comunes. Can, could, should, may. Uh, is that clear or do you still, are, are you still confused? No, I'm clear now. Thank okay. you. Okay, remember, son para posibilidades o cosas inciertas, okay? Por ejemplo, should oh. I go? Yeah, yeah, tell me. Or persuasions. Yeah, exactly, persuasion. Okay, we have here, por ejemplo, should I go? Debería ir. Es algo, es una posibilidad, right? Entonces, para eso utilizamos los moral verbs. Por ejemplo, esta es una posibilidad. May I help you? Es como preguntas de permission. Son para permissions, posibilidades o, o cosas inciertas. Uncertainties. Ok, en este caso, para hacerlo un poquito más fácil, es como co posibilidades, right? Así lo vamos a dejar. Podemos utilizar los moral verbs para possibilities, para recommendations, para advice, consejos. We can use to, uh, to permission. Can we stay? Es como un permiso. Can I, o oh, este también. Have you ever heard, may I go to the restroom? ¿Puedo ir al baño? Es como una permission, es una posibilidad, okay? And that's why we use those model verbs. Oh, and recommendation. Yeah, recommendations too, and advice too. What should I do? ¿Qué debería hacer? Okay, you should go to, you should get a job, something like that. You should get a job first, or you should think about it first. Recommendation, advice, permission, possibilities, or uncertainties, okay? Okay, so we're going to move to the next one. Remember this one? Esto lo vimos en el video. Uh, y me pareció muy importante traerla acá porque tenemos una fórmula para hacer preguntas así. Vamos a ver este cuadrito primero. Did you have a good summer? Esto es de la conversation. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Si se fijan, tenemos la respuesta. Yes, I did. Yes, la comita. The coma, I did. Ahí hay un punto separando. I had a great summer. Entonces acá tenemos, for the question, tenemos did, did, did you, the subject. We have the verb in present, in the present. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos did, right? Did you have a good summer? Este es el complemento. La respuesta, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, but what happened if we provide more information? We're going to... Hace un puntito. I had a great summer. En este caso, sí, vamos a pasarlo al pasado simple. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando, estamos eh, conjugando el verbo, ¿ya? I had a great summer. Ok. Did you play volleyball? Did you play volleyball? Pasa lo mismo. Tenemos did, tenemos subject, verb in the present. Tenemos did, subject verb in present y el complemento volleyball no I didn't I played tennis ok en este caso we're going to practice about uh, this one we're going to try to make questions uh, más adelante vamos a finalizar este cuadrito did Erica like liked her vacation did Erica like her vacation yes she did miren yes she did She liked, she liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona, okay? This is the perfect example. Tenemos did, Erica and her sister son el subject, okay? Tenemos el verb in present y tenemos el complemento to Colorado. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Ok, remember, cuando ya va la respuesta, usted responde, no, they didn't, o no, I didn't. Y el puntito, they were, cuando vamos a dar mucho más información, como lo estamos haciendo en simple past, vamos a dejar el verbo, lo vamos a conjugar, ok. That's, you need to remember that. Ok, so we are going to practice. Now it's your turn. 
create examples using the formula yes or no questions and answer the question as long with the responses you prefer. En este caso, eh, tenem, vamos a dejar la, las posibles respuestas que sean, por ejemplo, eh, esa, yes, she did, así. No solo vamos a responder yes or no, vamos a responder yes, she did, o, o como esté la pregunta, no, I didn't, y vamos a dar eh, más información, ¿ok? Vamos a dar más información. This is in order to uh, ver qué tal conjugan los verbos utilizando el auxiliar del simple past, ¿ok? Y siempre haciendo una yes or no question. So that's what we're we going to do. Va a ser una pregunta y se va a responder usted mismo y se va a dar, proveer más información. Just like, así como los ejemplos, así como estos ejemplos, ¿ok? Do you guys understand what are you going to do? Hello? Vamos a hacer una pregunta y le vamos a responder con yes or no question, dijo. Yeah, we're going to sí, see. Vamos a hacer una yes or no question. Vamos a hacer una pregunta cerrada, una closed question, una pregunta de sí o no. Vamos okay. a hacer esa pregunta y vamos a responderla. Por ejemplo, si sí, yes, I did. Por ejemplo, esta, yes, I did. El puntito. Y ponemos el resto de la información. Este también es importante. Eh, quiero ver cómo conjugan el verbo también. En, el, en la respuesta, ¿ok? A la hora de proveer más información. ¿Sí entendieron lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Es it clear? ¿O do you still have any question? Si tiene alguna pregunta, la puede hacer ahorita y volvemos con la, la diapositiva. Vamos a intentar, teacher. Okay, that's the attitude. We're going to try, try your best, okay? Vamos a utilizar el chat así como lo hacemos siempre because it's important to do it uh, written and orally, the practice, okay? So we are going to type it on the chat. You're going to type it on the chat. And then when you're ready, you can read your practice, okay? Así vamos a hacer. Cuando usted termine de escribir en el chat, vamos, usted va a leerme su practice, okay? Okay, guys. So you can start. Solamente una, okay? One question, one yes or no question, y su respuesta, and the response. Así con, con información, con bastante información. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to give you four minutes and tell me when you're ready. Cuando usted tenga listo el suyo, you can uh, levantar la manita, you can raise your hand, okay? Aquí, en, en, con... And soon, we're going to raise your hand. Y yo voy a proceder a pedirle que lea su práctica, ¿ok? So, we, let's get started now. Ok, you have four minutes to do it. I'm going to show you where here you have the formula. And here you have more examples. You can see. You can use samples with be, have, do, and model verbs. You can use those examples, something like this. We have have or has, do or did, do or did, and model verbs, okay? William, we already have yours, okay? Can you help me to read? Okay, I have the first one here, Yancy. Can you tell me, can you help me to read your your practice? Yes, um, the answer is, um, uh, did you have a good result in your test? Yes, I did. Okay, what else can you say? What else can you, say if, if, if I'm asking you to provide more information, si yo le pido, que me dé más información. Por ejemplo, podría ser, uh, tenemos, did you have a good result in your test? Yes, I did, because uh, I studied, as an example, 
yo estudié, I started. Vamos a conjugar el verbo study al pasado. Just like this, let me check. Así, no. Just like this. Miren, tenemos la respuesta. Yes, I did. I started. Digamos aquí el ejemplo. Así es. Study. Este es el pasado simple de study, ¿ok? I started all night. An example. Estudié toda la noche. Sí, sí, tuve, sí lo hice. Por ejemplo, uh, did you have a good result in your test? Yes, I did. I started all night. Ok, but that's a good one. Thank you so much, Jancy. And we have Jonathan. Can you help me to read your practice? Okay. Um, um, did you do your homework? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you do your homework? Yes, I did. Uh, what What else can you say? ¿Qué más puedes decir? Por ejemplo, si la hice. What else? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did my homework. Um, okay. Yes, I did my homework. Awesome. Yes, I did. Um, uh, last night with assistant with the from my mother, I do my homework, for example. Okay, okay, awesome. Thank you. Tenemos otro verbo ahí, verdad? Para conjugarlo. Awesome. Tenemos William. Can you help me to read your practice? Okay. Did you work today? Yes, I did. I work all the day. Awesome. Did you work today? Yes, I did. I worked all day. Okay, awesome. That's a good one. Así, uh, estamos dando más información. Look, did you work today? Yes, I did. I worked all the day. Así, estamos dando más información. Okay, y es, tenemos aquí el verbo ya conjugado en el pasado simple. That's what I was uh, asking you. Okay, we have another one from Jancy. Can you help me to read this one? Sorry, miss. Can you help me to read uh, your, your practice, the second one? Other, other example? Yeah, you provided two examples. Uh, escribió dos ejemplos. No, only one. Did you have a good result? The next word to the complement that the the the, the response. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's a good okay, don't worry. Okay, so let's move. I started all night yesterday. Awesome. The okay, Mario, can you help me to read your practice? Okay, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Did you have a good vacation? No, I didn't. I had not a good vacation. Okay, awesome. We are not providing more information, but we are making emphasis. We uh, estamos dando emphasis, right? No, no estamos dando más información, pero estamos dando haciendo emphasis now. No, I didn't. I had not a good vacation. I had not a good vacation. Acá tenemos el verbo ya conjugado. That's a good one. Thank you, Mario. So we are going to move to Manuel. Can you help me to read your practice? Okay. Did you play soccer last weekend? Yes, I did. I played soccer with my friend and my son in the park. Okay, awesome. Let's let's check it. Did you play soccer last weekend? We're missing the question mark right there, okay? Yes, I did. I played soccer with my friend and my son in the park. Okay, that's a really good example. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I think, creo que si lo entienden eh, mejor de lo que esperaba. Creo que está, está clear en el aspecto de con qué ¿Con qué podemos abrir una yes no question, right? ¿Con qué vamos a empezar una yes no question? Always remember, tenemos be, have, do, or a model verb. Recuerden que cuando tenemos have, 
siempre cambia para la tercera persona. Entonces tenemos have or has, ¿ok? En do tenemos do or did, porque tenemos en pasado y lo tenemos en presente. O sea, usted puede hacer esta pregunta, usted puede conjugar la pregunta, ya sea en presente o en pasado. En este caso, nos estamos eh, basando más que todo en el simple pass, ¿ok? Y let's move here. Aquí tenemos one more time eh, la fórmula. The formula did plus subject plus verb in the present and plus the complement. Always remember que si es una question, le vamos a poner el question mark. Y tenemos las respuestas, as I mentioned. You can say yes. O sea, eh, pueden decir... Eh, solamente yes or no, but es mucho mejor decir yes, I didn't, or no, I did not. Puede decir, eh, o puede proveer mucha más información, ok, si usted lo ve necesario. Y pues ya tenemos la práctica y vamos a hacer rapidito el knowledge check que tenemos para esta, para este topic. Let me check. Ok, tenemos... Uh, sorry, I have to retire. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, Gen Z. I understand. Have a good night. Okay, tenemos William. Did you eat dinner? Did you eat dinner? Yes, I did. I ate pupusas and drank coffee. Awesome. That's a good one, too. Remember, coffee is, is double, double E at the end, okay? Just one O and double E. Thank you so much, William. Okay, we are going to we are going to do the knowledge check. We're going to move to the platform and we're going to complete the knowledge check. Remember, eh, so in esta in este in la clase simplemente lo revisamos para ver si lo, ten, lo podemos hacer de la manera correcta. <clears throat> y tenemos acá los ejemplos. Ustedes siempre lo tienen que hacer en su plataforma. De hecho, es obligatorio. And we're going to check the instructions. Siempre lean las instrucciones, ¿ok? Dice, unscramble the question by putting the words. Ordene la, pregun ordene la pregunta poniendo las palabras en el orden correcto. Remember to type the question mark. Siempre recuerden de poner el signo de interrogación, ok? We have an example. Have you did summary good? Esta está desordenada. We're going to unscramble. La vamos a armar. La vamos a desarmar para armarla correctamente, ok? Did you have a good summer? Ok, do you guys understand what we're going to do? Yeah, yes. Ok, awesome. What about the first one? Watch television did you last night? How can we... Did you watch the television last night? Okay. Did you watch television, television last night? Night. What's missing? ¿Qué falta? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Awesome. Always remember to place the question mark. Okay. Tenemos the second one. Have dinner you did last night. Did you have dinner last night? Oh, sorry. Did you have dinner? Have dinner last night? Question mark. Question mark. Go to work yesterday. You did. How? Easy. Did, did you work? Did you? Oh, sorry. Simple. Did you work? Go. To yesterday. Did you go? Did you go to what? To work? Uh -huh, work. Yesterday. Question mark. Awesome. What about this one? Hmm, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Okay. Okay, we're going to check what, is, what happened here. Okay. 
awesome, guys. You did it great. Remember, siempre tienen que hacer esto en la plataforma. Ya tenemos de, de los recientes. We, ha, we already have here este knowledge check de acá. Por ejemplo, eh, estos, do you remember eh, lo que hicimos con los regular verbs? Eh, vamos a eh, ponerlo, por ejemplo, el pasado simple de enjoy. Do you remember? Did you? Enjoy. What happened? Yeah, what happened si estamos en pasado simple? Es un poquito tricky, right? Pero re remember, guys, tenemos el did. We already have did. So sería, did you enjoy your enjoy summer? Your summer. Awesome, okay. Tenemos una respuesta. Yes, I did. I have. I, have. I had. Awesome. Have. Okay, I guess, did you enjoy? Had. What about this one? I walked to the beach a lot. One. One. Uh, okay. But what happened? I went, went. Oh, sorry. But what happened here? For I example, went to the beach a lot. I went to the beach a lot. Probablemente si esta, lo vamos a intentar. Si esta no sale mala, es porque estamos hablando de un presente, ¿ok? Por eso les digo, es un poquito tricky. Vamos a ver. Ok, estaba correcta, ok. Awesome. Tenemos conversation two. Siempre scroll down, ok. Siempre bajen a revisar si hay alguna más. Porque miren, tenemos muchas. Tenemos muchas. Entonces, este knowledge check los tienen que hacer ustedes. Because this is in order to check your development. Para ver cómo va su desarrollo. Acá tenemos más, mire, aquí tenemos este knowledge check, no sé si ustedes ya lo hicieron, pero siempre lea las instrucciones. Dice, cambia el verbo que está en paréntesis al pasado para completar la historia. No necesitas escribir un, un periodo, a period, sorry, a period es un punto, it is already placed, ¿ok? Mire, no necesita poner ningún punto, ni la coma porque ya la tiene, ¿ok? Ahí tenemos una comita, aquí tenemos una comita. Lo que dice que va a cambiar el, el, el verbo para darle sentido a la historia. Todo esto es una historia. Entonces, vamos a cambiar el verbo. Si se fijan, si sí, está una oración, coma, porque sigue. But my girlfriend, but my girlfriend, what? Por ejemplo, on Friday night, I, como estamos hablando wait, del pasado. Wait, wait. I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend, what? Did it call. Okay, didn't call. My girlfriend didn't call. Awesome. Okay, guys, I think you are prepared for this one. Remember, siempre recuerden hacer um, todos los knowledge check. Por ejemplo, si ya lo hicimos, eso está muy fácil porque nos vamos a agarrar del did. Okay, que empieza con did. That's. Es, es un, let me check here. I'm going to do it quickly, porque ya. Okay, this is for question. Do you have any question about the topic? No question. No questions, okay? If you have any question, you can do it right now. We are, and we can go back if it's necessary. Okay, no questions. Ok, espero que haya estado claro, aunque yo creo que sí, porque dependiendo de, de su práctica, veo que esta vez no hay errores, solamente faltó information, pero no eran mistakes. Así que está todo good, good. So, guys, that's it for the today's class. If you don't have any question, um, we are good. So... We're finishing the class right now. I hope you have a wonderful night and descansen. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Have a good Thank night. You. Bye.